So what we're doing here today is establishing willow biomass crops and the machine we've been seeing is called a step planter. It takes, it takes pieces of dormant willow stems that are one year old and cuts them into small sections. So it'll cut them into sections about this size, six or seven inches. And that gets planted down in the ground. And from this piece of unrooted stem, we'll get roots that grow below ground. And then above ground, we'll get the stems and leaves that will develop into a biomass crop that will be harvested in three years. We plant these willow stems, these little pieces, we put about 5,800 to 6,000 of these little pieces in for every acre that we plant. And so there'll be somewhere around 6,000 plants that will grow. And each plant, uh, by the time it gets to year three, will have anywhere from five to 10 stems. So we'll have tens of thousands of stems of willow growing on this field, uh, producing biomass year after year. This step planter that we've been looking at today is the only one that's actually currently in North America and we're now in discussions with manufacturers here in North America to uh, replicate this machine and also to make some improvements. So anywhere that wood is going to be used to generate electricity or heat or also the process now of making ethanol from cellulosic materials. Wood will be one of those cellulosic materials and so willow biomass crops will also go into those markets to produce ethanol uh, and also heat and power. And so this just fits into the whole thrust that ESF has and continues to move forward with in terms of developing renewable energy systems. There's a number of other things that ESF is working on, but we've been working now for 20 years uh, working on research on willow biomass crops and are now at the exciting point of time where this is becoming commercialized, where planting systems like the one we've been looking at are going to start being manufactured here in New York and farmers will start planting acreage uh, with willow biomass crops.